Physics 123, Sections 1 and 2. This is Part 3 of the lab for the second week. Uh, okay, let's, let's talk about a few topics here. Uh, just for my own sake, to keep it simple, if you want the lab moved to Friday, send me an email, yes or no, and please keep that email only on that topic for, for so, my, so my simple brain doesn't get um, confused. Um, if you don't weigh in, then I guess you don't care. Uh, so I'll see if I get more yeses or more noes. You, uh, someone asked me about significant figures. Uh, apparently, in college physics, they don't get into statistics and things very heavily. But uh, uh, just for your own sake, I'll just let you know. This number right here, 7.02. That's a number I made up. Don't, don't think that that's correct. That won't work in your homework. I just made that number up. 7.02 has three significant three significant figures um, so uh, it's written in this way let's see uh, you noticed when you did your graph you saw something like this so what is all this all about okay this is your regression that's the formula this you could have picked a quadratic it could have been a times x squared plus b times x plus c you know and if this program was more sophisticated, you could have picked a regression that was AX to the 100th plus B times X to the 99th plus C times X to the 98th plus D times X to the 97th and on and on and on and on. And on. Okay, so this is the simplest regression and it's going to form a straight out line. Those, uh, those other regressions that I told just mentioned to you, they could form a curve. They could form something like this. Um, basically, with the regression, if your x, x to the whatever, if that equals the number of points that you plotted, that regression will literally perfectly fit through every single point. So if you had 13 data points, you'd start out with an a x to the 13th plus b times x to the 12th plus C, and then the computer would come up with an equation where what's the values for A, B, C, D, E, and then that would that equation would literally plot a nice smooth curve right through there. Okay, that's just so you understand what this is. Um, I've just been informed that I can modify these labs, so the next lab I'm going to look through it, try to get through it quicker, and try to figure out what I should include or exclude. So some of these things probably I should have chopped out. I didn't know. We never did this before. These labs are new to me. Okay. Um, so you probably wonder what this is. I was asked. What's, now you're not going to have this number. Okay. So I made this number. up. What is this? 7.02 E plus 4. Well, if I were to multiply it times 10th to the 4, times 10 to the 4th, this is just shorthand. It means exponential or engineering, depending on you know who you, who you hear this from. It could also be a capital E, could be a small e. 7.02, you say, oh, that's plus 4, so you move this over 4 places. 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be that number, right? That would be that number right there, okay? If this was a negative 4, you'd move it over... The other way, one, two, three, four. So it'll be zero point zero zero, you know, seven, something like that. Okay. So this is shorthand for seven point oh two times ten to the fourth power. That's what that's shorthand for. This is a plus and minus. I made this number plus and minus two hundred centimeters per second. So you saw something like this in your in your lab, I assume. What that means is that this number. The range of this number, because your line is not perfectly straight, it's got some problems. The A number, which happens to be your uh, speed or velocity, it could range anywhere between 70 and 740. I mean, if this were your numbers. That's all it's saying. So there's an inaccuracy. It's a, it's a, so that's all this is telling you. Uh, so I just told you about regression. Regression is the formulas. Um, and we'll, we'll play a little bit. 
Now, somebody asked me about groups. They said, can we do these labs as a group? And I asked the boss, and uh, they said, yes. Uh, just make sure that, you know, you're going to put your own answers in your own account. So, you know, <laughs> if you're trusting somebody else and they're wrong, you know, then you lose points. So um, just try to do your best. So they're okay with you guys working in groups. And, and by the way, how could we stop you? You know, we're not there. We don't see what you're doing. So hopefully if you're with a group, you'll help, you'll, you'll help each other to learn this. Um, hopefully it'll make it a little easier for you. Okay, so this is the third, uh, the third part of the lab. It's called uh, applying, applying motion graphing. And uh, what they wanted you to do is they wanted you to see something interesting that they thought was interesting. Um, they wanted you to graph um, all the way up and th they want you to basically graph, collect data points all the way through the point at which the collision occurred. So, you know, your collision occurs. So, you know, you may, you may have graphed from here to here to here to here and then that should be a darn straight line. Well, then somewhere over to here, all of a sudden, you know that ball is going to slow down. So that slope of that line should suddenly slow down. So as you can see on my line, it slows down here. Okay. So this is this has got one slope, and then that's got another. Now, just so you know, all these numbers in here, I made them up. These are not, I didn't measure them. I just made it up for illustration purposes. So if you copy these numbers and put them in your lab homework, you're going to, it's going to be a mess, you know. I can't, you know. <laughs> so actually, you know, just, you know, measure the time. It goes quick. You know, put your data points in. So what they wanted you to do is they wanted you to do the regression. So you click on here, click on there, fit the curves, okay. Uh, you're, gonna, you're doing curve fitting. So here's, a so here's the linear one, linear regression. Okay, boom. So... Uh, let's see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And as you can see, it, it it's trying to compromise. It's, it doesn't quite match this. Neither does it match that. It's trying to match them both. Just just to experiment. I'll just show you something. Now, see, here's the formula down here. AX plus B. Okay. If you just just take, experiment it, won't, won't kill you. If you just take it and do, say, a quadratic. Now, this one only goes up to a quadratic regression, but... You know, fancier programs will go super far. Watch what happens. Look at that. Look at how, how smooth that fits. Now, if that had been up to the 13th power, so here you see this is a to the x. Well, if that was a to the x to the 13th plus b to the x to the 12th and then so on, you would have had a perfectly fitting curve. Um, so that's just something that it would be interesting for you to know that essentially... Any, any kind of data that you can put on a graph, you can actually create an equation that will pass a line through it smoothly. And uh, the line may not re really accurately represent the, the trajectory in between the points that you graphed, or it might. It might. And in many times it does. So in this case, we're assuming, <laughs> we're assuming that there's not, not a lot of different forces acting on this. So the only, only force that's acting on it is the can slowing it down. So... Um, so let's go back to the linear. Now, what did they want you to do? What did they want you to do? They wanted you to conk out some of these points. So if you click on these points, boom, I just clicked it. Did you see how it changed from a dot to an X? If you click on it, boom, come on, boom, come on, dump. There we go. I got it. Doot. Okay, I'm killing all the ones that precede the, the collision. Boom. Boom. That's a collision. Okay. You see, this is a different slope. And that's what they wanted you to f find out, was that the slope is slow, you know, is a, it's a, a lower number for the slope here. That means it slowed down after it hit the can. Okay. That's what they're trying to get you to do. They're showing you that you can, you're using this slope to determine its velocity. Um, or if I, let's say if I did the opposite, if I went like this, I turn these back on. I don't think it tells you to do this in the homework, but, uh, you know, I'm just showing you. That's all. 
play around, and then, you know, answer the questions. Okay, I'll activate these. Now I'll kill these. This, so I'll kill the ones that happened after the collision. Okay. okay. Maybe it did tell you to do this. I'm not sure. Anyway, if you do this, you'll be able to answer the questions really very easily. So you can see that this is uh, these form a perfectly straight line, and uh, and that this occurred before the collision, and then there's a new straight line that forms here that occurred after the collision. Now. Uh, the reason why, well, well, it's already past 10 minutes, so I'm going to make it real quick. So the reason why they do things like this, this stands for root mean square error. The reason why it, it, in the sciences they have to add plus and minuses and root mean square and, you know, standard deviations, the reason why they do that is basically people are liars. And so your data has to look believable. It has to have a little bit of error, but not too much and not too little. If you notice the, er the, the data I made up, look at this. Look at this. This is perfect numbers. 10 is to 10, 20 is to 20, 30 is to 30, 40 is to 40. I mean, that's a dead giveaway I made these up, okay? That's a, you know, there's an error, no, error of nothing, a plus or minus of nothing. Okay, so that's why it, if you were to go into the engineering or if you were to take physics as a, as a major, they're going to force you to be much more strict about things of that sort. Uh, anything else I need to say? I think I got everything. So I think I told you everything. Please call me if you have questions. And tomorrow we'll have our uh, our Zoom meeting at 4 o'clock. Um, hopefully I don't forget. And if, and if you try to go on and I'm not there, call me and say, hey, where are you? I'll fire up the Zoom uh, if you want to do a Zoom. Otherwise, just talk to me on the phone, okay? Everybody have a great night.